Hi everyone, welcome to the third lecture in Python. So today we'll continue and we'll cover, uh, I'll try to be nearby the microphone that you can hear me. Uh, please um, um, stop me if you have any question. All right, so, <clears throat> so last time we started talking about the functions, how we write the functions, the main function, now, we have learned about the variables, how to create the variables, call the variables, etc., etc. So today, we'll talk about basically five things. We're going to start talking about lists, all right? Then we talk about strings, I think, tuples or tuples. Call it, some people call it tuples, sometimes call it tuples, all right? Then we'll talk about um, date and time, we'll talk about numbers, we'll cover that today. It's a lot of things, a lot of programs I, I have included for you. You could download and run, but we'll give you the basic concepts. We'll go to PyCharm from time to time to try and run uh, uh, a few um, uh, things, all right? So we start talking about lists and tuples. All right, so that's the way to, to create the, the the, the list, okay, you create with my list, and then you give it, you give it a, a value. Uh, so for example, let me go here. So for example, um, okay, let me delete it from scratch, right with you. So if I need to create a list, so let me call it my list, okay? And the way you, you, you know, you, cre you, you create it by having like a square bracket, like that. So let's take create a list of animals, dog, for example, <clears throat> cat, Professor. horse, what else you need, dog, okay, whatever, bat, whatever, okay, let me put this in here, Professor. and this goes in here. So this is a list of, of what? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, we cannot see it. So I have to fix this. Just a second. I'm trying to create a list in here. Okay. Um, So this is a list with with the strings. Of course, if you need to see what is inside it, you could say print, right? And my underscore list. So it has dog, cat, whatever, or I think I have a mistake in here, it has to be like that. So Apostrophe. Oh, there's one for cat. You're right. Okay. The screen is too small for me, so I cannot see, and they don't have my glasses on me. All right. So we created a list. You could print the list. Re re list. If you need to reference it, okay. Print. Okay. Uh, um, well, you know what's my list. Okay. And you have to have square bracket. Let's say one. So what should it print for you? Cat. Yeah. Cat. Right. Okay, because the reference starts from zero, okay, and all that, okay. So that's how you create a list. <clears throat> Pretty much, you know, um, um, <coughs> all right. So, um, so for example, if you look at it here, cat, and, and uh, the, the examples in here, and Professor, you see in here, display. Okay, um, look in here. So you could create of uh, attempts of temperature, which has a five 
it has five float numbers. Okay, in here, this inventory, it has like three strings, three strings values. The movie has like a string, a year, and maybe a, like a rate for the, for the class, what? The displays one. which has like uh, the name of the movie, the year, maybe the rating, it's like string with integer with a float. So the list could have different kind of different types, all right? And then test score in here, it's empty. It's empty uh, list. So also remember the power of the star. So if you need to repeat a value, so in here for example, zero multiplied by five, that will create a list with five elements and all of them have the value of zero, or the value of zero. All right, so to access the, the list, you have in here attempts, which temperatures have floats, okay? How many elements we have in here? One, two, three, four, five elements. The index it goes from all from zero to n minus one, so it will be from zero to four. So to print them, you could have a positive index from zero, from zero, to four, or you could have it from minus five, okay, or minus one to minus five. Minus one is the last one. Minus one is the last one, okay? Sometimes you need to have like a positive index to go from front to, to from back to front, or from the beginning to the end, or sometimes you need to go from the back to the end, all right? And here, for example, you have temps, which has like um, uh, five temperatures. Um, you could assign a value. So for temps, you could assign temps, um, um, uh, you know, assign a value to, to the um, temps or add a value. So for example, temps equals temps of zero, which is um, temp will be equal to 48. Then temps equals temps of four, it will be assigned to 42 and so on and so forth. So a code that gets items from uh, temps list. So you could save it in a variable. Code that gets items from the inventory list. So you have inventory which has, it has strings as you see in here. Okay, you could read it the same way. So as an example in here, if you look at here, inventory of five will give you a scroll and will be saved in item. Same thing with the other stuff. All right, so there is, comes, I mean, all of these, all, all Python is about objects. So what is list? Is an object, right? String, an object. An edger is an object. Float, an edger, right? All of them. And, you know, objects are associated from a class. All right. So there's two things that we, we, we have. We have something called methods and have functions, right? What's the difference between methods and functions? Anybody knows? Nobody knows? So methods are inside the classes. Are functions created inside the classes and called after you create the object from a class. Functions are out of the classes, like general functions, built in functions. All right? So we'll see a lot of functions here and a lot of methods. So these are, these are like, like methods. These are methods. Uh, these methods are created. Okay, um, uh, inside the object or the class of um, or the module of less, right? So item. So we start with with append. So if you need to append an item, okay, to 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 the list, use append. Insert. You could insert at certain index. There is index a certain item. So you need, for example, at item number three, I would like to insert this value. Remove an item, you could index an item to know what is the index of the item, and then you could pop an item randomly from the list, remove an item from the list. All these ex examples will explain things, okay? Is the screen clear? We need to be demo. Good? Good? All right. So let's look at the stats in here. 
Stats, it has like five, one, two, three, four values. 48, 30.5, 20.2, 100. And these are values. Then we have inventory. This is the inventory which has the, or like five or six uh, uh, strings. And then you have stat that append. So what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to add a value. I need to add a value to this list, which is 99.5. So this has to go to the end in here. All right, it has to go to the end in here. So as you see, after you execute this, you have it appended in here. That's the append, all right? If you need to append five values, what you could do? Create a loop. You could create a loop to go through, 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 through the loop to append five values, right? All right? And there is different ways, but at least you could create a loop to append to the values. All right, what else in here? Look at the, the next one, insert. So what we are trying to do in the insert we're trying to insert at location three, at the index three, a row. That's the value. So let's go, let's take a look at the inventory. So what we have in the inventory? Where is zero? This is, would be zero, index zero. This is one, this is two. That means at the three, so it has to be inserted here. We're gonna insert row. We're gonna insert row, and that's exactly what, what happens. So staff, as you see in here, staff, hat, shoe, and at the position three, we inserted row. So you could insert at a certain position the value you wanted. Look at remove. What you do in remove, in the method remove, you could remove any value you want. I would like to remove shoe. It will remove the first happening or the first occurrence of shoe in the list. What if I need to remove all the shoes from the list? So I have to repeat the, 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 uh, the statement, okay, multiple times. So maybe the first thing you have to do to make sure how many shoes I have in the list, then I could run, run it uh, in, in the loop. So if I know, for example, I have three shoe in the list, I could run it in the loop for three times, etc., etc. right? Okay, a pop method, it will remove an item, the pop will remove an item from the list, but randomly, randomly, not in order, randomly. Okay, so for example, inventory, that's the inventory. And now I will need to pop once. So it's gonna remove item randomly. So this time it removed bread. Bread was removed. As you see, bread was removed. Also in pop, I could specify which portion or which index I can remove. So in here, instead, this is in here, there's nothing between parentheses. In here what I have? One. I have one. So I can now, Remove the item which index with one. Means what, what's the number of the item? Number two, two, zero and one. So which one would be removed? The hat, which is number two. And that's what we see in here. Hat was removed, all right? <clears throat> there is also index, the index. What does index give me? Give me what, where is the location? of the value in the list, index. So again, again, we look at the inventory in here, has how many values, how many strings? Has four strings, staff, hat, rope, and bread. All right, so I, we're well, gonna save the string. So inventory index hat, so I'm, I'm, I'm asking what is the index of first hat? It should be one, it's number one. And that's actually the results, gave you one, okay? In here, what I did after that, I need to remove the, the, the hat, so I go above location one. So I will go to have one, and then hat will be removed, which is removed from here. As you see, it's not there anymore, okay? Make sense, yes? What if we have like a duplicate hat in the list? Which one will be left? So in the first sentence, what we in the first sentence what we did, we knew what's the location of hat. What is the index of hat? One. So in here, I need to remove hat from the list. So I said inventory pop one. What is in what is index one? The hat, right? So hat will be removed, and that's the output without hat was removed. Did I answer your question? Yeah, I, I asked like if uh, we have like two hats in the list, if you have like two hats, 
If you have two hats, you get a remove. Okay. Is it the for the first one. Okay, so it returns the index for the first one. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, for the first one. Yes, thank you. I can't hear you from far, so sorry. Thank you. Please, you know, if you have any question, ask, we'll try to answer you as much as we can, okay? Or try it. We could always try it and go to prove. So the, the nice thing about, you know, programming, when you have a question, how you can answer it? Try it. Okay, just try it, you know. Okay, the first thing you try it, if you can't get it, you could go and Google and try to, to go to the documents and all of that, okay. Okay, very important function. Very, this is a function or a method? This is a function. function. Why? Because we pass what? A list to it. All right? But, you know, if we say for a list, for example, um, um, temps dot, okay, pop. So what is this? Method. Okay. All right? So this is a function, and that is uh, a method. Right? So how to use uh, um, end keyword to check whether an item is in the list? I have a list, and in our examples in here, the list has five items, six items, very easy, right? But you know, you could have items, you have lists that have like 1,000 items. Possible? Possible, right? So you cannot see it, you can't print it and see it, so you have to automate it, right? So if you look at the same list we have, the inventory, Okay, I'm looking for a bread. So I saved it in a variable called the bread. If item in the inventory, if item in the inventory, okay, what have, is this correct in here? It has to go like this. We have indentation, right? There's a mistake in here, right? So if, if item is in, in, in inventory, so in inventory, inventory is a list, in, okay, inventory, remove the item. So you could remove the item. So in here, what we are learning about the close n, if n, if n, we're gonna use it in, in all of the coming uh, in the strings and etc. If n, so if item n, if something in the list, remove it. If something in the string, remove it. If something in the tuple, remove it. If right, if n. So it's if the if n um, uh, statement is a very important thing. In, right? It's a very important statement that you're going to use it a lot. Look in here, inventory, then you have print inventory. When you print it, it's printed this way, right? Maybe it's not a very nice look, okay? Especially if you're going to have many and multiple lines. So maybe if you need to loop it through it and you need to print it. So for example, in here, for, so remember, for n, for n. So we, there's for n. We have seen F, N, and there is four N, right? The four N. So four N, the list, four item in the list, then you could have many statements in here as you wash. Okay, so take a look in here. You have inventory, then four item in inventory, so you get a loop through the list. Start with item zero, item one, item two, until the end. Print the item. So you're going to get a very nice output as you see in here. You could, okay, so you could FN, remember FN, and 4N for looping. How about with uh, a for loop? So scores, this is our scores in here, the total zero. The point in here, I need to add, I need to add the scores. So for score, in scores, and I'm adding all the scores I see in here, print the total. Give me 340. So if I add 70 plus 80 plus 90 plus 100, it'll give me 340. Also, we could use a while loop, the same thing, this is scores, the total, and then shape i, okay, while i list then the length of the scores. So what is length of the scores? This will give you how much? Four, right? So while i, which is, I, which is zero now, zero less than four, it will add the first score, then we add i, modify i, we'll loop again until it's equals to 4, then we quit and we'll print the, the 340. So we could loop through the list, all right? So what we learned so far, how to create the list, all right? And the list could contain, contain any, any type, could contain integer, float, decimal, 
strings. It could it contain mixed values, all right? And also we could loop through, through it. Uh, there is many methods and functions that we could use uh, for our program. All right, this is a very important information, okay, about the types. The types could be immutable, okay, and could be mutable. And this is very crucial, crucial thing. Okay, what does it mean immutable? That means you cannot change it. You cannot change it. You cannot change the value. Immutable that you can be changed. Can be changed. Okay, lists are mutable. That that you could create a list and you could change the values. And you could have uh, values. Alright? So we'll take an example. We'll, we'll explain that. So, uh, so usually in, in immutable arguments, immutable arguments like what, for example? Look at this in here. So in here we're trying to create a function. What does the function do? The function, what does it do? As you see in here, okay? Double the number. So you insert or the input for it will be a number. And the number will be doubled and saved in the variable, okay? So in here, what will happen? In here, new <coughs> integer object created. So the value in here is a different value that, that, that is called <coughs> here, right? And then a return, return the value. New integer object must be returned. So you have to have a return, right? Okay, so when we call it from the main, what you'll do, first of all, your assign value one equals 25. So you create a, a, a variable, you assign it 25. This is integer object, which is created. Value two is another object which is created. And here we initiate it to 25, and here what we did. We called the function and we pass 25 to it, which is the first value. So this will call the functions in here. Gonna go from here, gonna call the function in here. So the value here will be how much? 25. Okay, this will be 25. 25 times 2, this will be 50. Then we return the value. How much is the value here? 50, right? So 50 will be returned, right? All right. So if you print value one, it's 25. If you print value two, 50, all right? Look what will happen with the list, okay? With that list. So we have, we have add to the list. So you have a list, okay? We need, this is the name of the list. We're gonna add item for it, okay? So we're gonna use list append the item. That's, what is this? This is a function. What is the function of this function? Is to add a value to the list, already created list, all right? So the calling code in the main function, how it works. So we have inventory, that's the inventory, okay? That's the list. Add to the list, that's the name of the list, and you're gonna add rope to it. Okay, brand inventory, it added a row in here, okay? So in here, we did not need to return a value. Why? Because we're accessing this list kind of by reference. You know when you did Java and um, C Sharp and C++, when you access a, a memory with, by the reference, that's what happened, you access it by reference. So when you, you not re need to return, return a value because inside the function, you have bend it to, to the list, okay, which passed to it, and the change has happened because the change happens to the memory. What does that, what, what that means, that lists are mutable. That means they are changeable. That means if you call them from a function and you change anything, it will stay. It will stay, you could change the values. So this is uh, one of the programs I included for you, okay, the, the user interface for the movie. So basically in here, um, uh, okay, so for example, uh, the command menu is list, list all the movies, add to add a movie, delete to delete a movie, and exit. So that's the menu comes to you. You enter the option, whatever you want. For example, you said in here, command list. I would like to list, so we have you have three, three movies listed for you. 
if you need to add a movie, you could add a movie. Then you could listen it back. You see in here you added Casablanca. When you listen it back, Casablanca was added. So you have Casablanca was added. You could delete. In here to delete is by the number. So you have to put the number. I need to delete item number four from the list. So if you list again, it's gone. So if you run it, yeah, let's try to run it. So that's execution, all right? So command menu, list, list all the movies, add, add a movie, delete, delete a movie. So let's try list. So I have to type list. So how many movies I have? Three. Three movies. Okay, let's add a movie. So what should I type? Add. Add. Right? So add here to add a movie. So if I type add, okay, what, sh what shall we call it? Python movie. Python stars, stars, stars. That's your place. Python stars. Okay. If I list it again, all right. So Python stars was added. Right. Okay. If I need to delete. Okay, del, let's delete, I'll delete. Okay, enter number, but the number should be four. 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 Okay, list again. As you see, it was deleted. Okay? So if you look at this, take a look quickly at the, the code, and it's available for you, by the way, in the comments. Okay, so you could, again, you could cut and paste and run it, but you know, you should write it. So the first thing you have to do, okay, is to create the display. Any program you try to write, you have to create a display. So display menu, that's in you know, our function. Print movie movie list program, print a empty line. Then the command menu, list add del tells you what to do. This is what the display menu. What is it called from the main function? Let's go to the main function. Okay, where is the main? That's the main. So first of all, the main movie list, how many how many items they have in the list? Three. Three movies, as you see in here, right? You could add more. You could add no, more, or you could add when you run it. More, right? Display menu. So this will call which one? And go up here and call this menu. Display menu. It will give you this. All right? It will display that for you, right? Then after display menu, it will ask where it goes. Okay? While the truth, keep rotating. Okay, rotate it. So I'll ask you for the first command. Okay. So command, input command. The first thing we entered what was what? List when we executed, right? Alright. So if command and lower, because sometimes you enter capital or whatever. Remember the last class we spoke about very important uh, you know uh, methods to use lower and upper especially when you use with input. So input command, okay, if command lower, whatever you enter equals to list, then what you should run? List movie list. We're gonna go to that function called, okay, uh, called movie list here. So in the movie list, what does it do? Okay, for movie and movie list, Print, string, the I is number one, number two, you know, the order of, and then the move. Remember this, and so on and so forth. So from the main, we go sequence. So in here, if you type list, then it lists it for you. If you type add, it will add it for you. If you type del, it will delete for you, okay? And if you type exit, it will, then you break, okay? Else, if you enter something different, Okay, print, uh, print, not a valid command. So in here, for example, if I, uh, if I type hello. So what does it give me? Not a valid command. An execution, not a valid command, and so on and so forth, all right? So also that's what I wanted, uh, wanted you to, 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 to know, 
that when you write a code, okay, it has to be a story. It has to be a story. That means that you could go through it, I mean, like from the very beginning with comments, you feel like comfortable. And you see the names are, are reflected. So for example, when I call this function, the supply menu, it's meaningful, okay? Some lazy people, sometimes I'm lazy, by the way, because I'm not a very fast typer. Okay, maybe I'm going to make it DM. Okay, then I go up to the bed, wake up in the morning, I forgot what is DM. Okay, because it does not reflect anything. And this is very important when you do your jobs and job interviews and you write. Whatever you write has to have to have meaning, meaning, meaningful names, right? Right? Okay, and comments. Okay, and here, for example, list. You see in here, add. Okay, delete, etc. <coughs> All right. So uh, try to have you know, when you write your code, it look like you are writing a story. That if you give it to somebody, reads it from top to bottom, will come to understand, you know, what you are talking about. It's very, very, very important actually. Okay. Yes. All right. So usually when you do the hierarchy for any chart, it starts with the main, and then you have, you know, what is the components? When you write any program, you divide your program into components. So the main, the main will call the different parts. So in here, for example, you have the, the display menu, you have the list menu, you have the add movie, and delete movie, etc. So always try to have the pseudo code or the chart or whatever for the code you're trying to write. That will make it easy for you to fill in the blanks and write the, the, the functions. So this is the code we just uh, have seen. Please note, note that I, I always include the code for you. All right. So if you double click, it will open and idle, and you could run it. Don't do that. Open it and try to type it or whatever. Also, if you look in the comments, also it's in the comments. I, I cut and paste the code for you. Okay. All my so all the codes are available for you. Okay. You could try them out. All right. Actually, it's a mistake that I, I kept it for you in a file, okay? And uh, I know some of the instructors, when they give you the code, they give it to, or they give, to, they give it to their student, they give it as an image or PDF. All right, you know why? Can't copy. Because I can't copy, you have to type it, okay? Maybe that's what I should do. I should discipline you, you know, but, you know, I, I trust that you will do that. You'll work, you know, by this, okay? So try to do that. Anyways, so uh, so how to uh, how to define list of lists? That's serious, right? So as you look in here, there is two brackets, square brackets in here, okay? And you have list of lists. So how many lists we have in here? Three lists. Three, right? So you have three lists of lists, right? Yep. And the, and each list is like has four components, all right? So it's kind of like three times four matrix, if you, you want to call it matrix, it's not a matrix, it's like you have three lists. So it's like, for example, the first student and the grades, 85, 95, 70, let's say first, second, final, and 95, 100, 100, Mike, 70, 70, 77, 70, 80, you know, grades, right? And what you notice also here, if you don't, you don't have to have equal, you know, size. So this is, has how many grades? Four, and this? Three, there's three. Three. Right? So, you know, Python in that sense is very flexible, okay, but when you write your code you have to watch what you are doing, right? Especially when you do the iterations and all that. So look in here for example the three rows and three columns what you have in here. So you have the the movie, the year produced, the rating maybe. I'm not sure this is the rate uh, this is maybe the, the the millions, how much is made, the movie. So in 1975, okay, it, it made like about 10 millions, I think. So how to add a list of lists through programming? All right, so for example, in here you have a list of lists. How many lists we have in this list? Two, we have two movies, right? If I need to add a third movie, what I do? So you create movie, which is empty list, empty list, there's nothing inside it. Then movie append the name of the movie. Movie append the year. Movie append the money made by that movie. Okay, and then I append the move to the movies the movie itself. So in here, what we did in here, we created the movie. 
in the movie, we append it to the movies, and there's a third line will come in here, which has the data. Clear? Okay. Can you go through it once again, please? What? Can you go through it once again? Sure. So in here, uh, in here, I have movies. How many movies I have in here? Two. So I need to add another movie. All right, another movie. So how I add it? I created a variable called movie, which is a list, empty list. Okay, empty list. Is there a way to clear? In here. Nice. Okay, so I erase everything, right? So the way to do it, okay, I, I create like a movie, empty list, now I need to add. So what I add to the movie, not it's a movie, not movies, right? Movie. I added the name, I appended the year, I appended the money. So now I have a one list. What is the list? If I print movie, what does it have movie? The it meaning has the meaning, whatever, right? Okay, right? It has... Uh, 1983 and has 7.5 in here. I have created this. Where is it saved? In movie. In movie. movie. Now I append the movie to where? Movies. To the movies. Okay? And it will be here. Okay. Okay, that's what we did. Alright, so. Go back to this, let's delete all this here. Okay. Sees the error? It's 9.99. What? 9.99. Nine 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 nine. Nine. I see here. Okay. Yeah, good eyes. Still, there's a mistake. Where is the mistake again here? Okay. So, here 1995, 9.99. This should be okay. Life of okay, 1997, 12.3. Where is the mistake here? I think one more time. Yeah. Uh, the holy quotes. The holy Professor, the quotes. The quotes should be at the end. Quotes should be where? At the end. Yeah. No, there's no quotes in here. Listen here. 1997, okay, in here. You see, that's a cut and paste. Okay. 
to see our work now. Yep, now okay. Okay. All right. So this is the 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 the, the, the created the so what we did, okay, okay, we said okay, created movie temporary equals okay. So the movie, let's call it uh Albus Ned. Sorry. Okay. And um, the movie actually list zero, right? Right? Yeah. Albus Ned, right? Then uh, movie one. Okay. And this we call it like 1973 and movie, movie here too. Okay, we'll call it 100 million. Okay, so okay, or we could like you know, we could like you know, uh, do that bend. So I bend to it, so you could use uh, that, uh, the, that bend, uh, not a bend, the value. Okay, so you could use, for example, first of all, we have to create movie, okay, equals empty, right? right? So you could assign it this way. Uh, okay, you could assign it in, in here inside, the, or you could that pin to it, okay? So, dot append, okay? And we could have this inside it. Cut. Put it in here. Control V. Okay. All right. And you know you could copy. Control V. Control V. Okay. Let's delete this. Nineteen seventy three, and in here we say hundred. Right? That's fine. No mistakes. There's no mistakes. Okay. So we, then after that we could say movies. Where is movies? This one, right? Movies. Right? Dot. Append and movie. So if I type in here, okay, print, okay, into line, okay, and then in here I do print whatever I need to print, so movies, movies, okay, right, let me copy this again. <coughs> And now, after I added the line, let me go this in here. Copy, put it in here. Okay, let's see my lock. So, so the first time I printed has only two less. After I added now, how many less it has? Three. Three less. Okay, that's all we did, right? Okay, simple things and all of that. So, just you have to try it out. And as you see, Trying simple things, how many mistakes I did? A lot, you know, forget codes, uh, whatever it is. So that's how you learn, okay? That's how you learn. And by the way, usually the first code you write in the night, you are very slow, you're still warming up, okay? After one hour, two hours, the mistake is close to zero. You can just you warm up and do it, okay? So don't worry that it's gonna take a lot of time. And even if it takes a lot of time, that's your job, right? All right. Okay, so in here, okay, so notice that how we do access multiple, multiple, you know, uh, it has to, it's like double arrays, so zero, zero will give you, will give you what? It will give you this one, the holy, uh, the holy uh, gray or whatever, okay? So it becomes like um, a zero, 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 two. If you try to access something out of the index, that's a problem, that's a problem, okay? So first of all, if you need to access, uh, elements in the array, what is the first thing you have to do? Specify the index. 
make sure make sure you don't go out of the range. Okay, so by saying the length and all of that, you code it, right? And number two, you should use a try with try and accept the exception. Okay, we'll throw, we will show you the next time try exception that your code does not break. So you put all the code that you expect some errors to be, and this is what is runtime errors. Runtime errors, you put them in exception. We'll talk about the exceptions uh, next lecture, okay? So how to, to print two dimensional? Okay, what you have to do? You have to create two loops, right? Four loop, four and four, and then you could get that. I'm not going to go over that, okay? We need to break. This is another program, I, uh, you have it, like uh, the user interface for a movie list, okay? 2D, all right? So uh, that's a code for you, so you could try it. And uh, as I told you in the comments, in the, okay, you have the code, you could cut and paste could cut part of it, or you could download this and you run it, it's available for you. So what I need from you to try it, you try it all, all. So there's three more list methods, count. So if you need to know how many items repeated in the list, use the count method. Reverse the list, if you need to reverse it, if you need to sort it, okay? So let's take a look at it quickly. So this is a list, which is a num list, it has numbers. Count, 14, how many 14? Okay, so use count, uh, num list, dot count, okay, 14. So how many items are 14? How, two, so this word is, uh, there's one, and there's the other one. So it counted 14, all right? If I do count, a count, 84, how many, how, what's that is that will be? One. One, because we have 184, right? Okay, reverse, what does reverse do? So the five goes to the end, the 15 goes next to the end, and so it will print it for you reversed. It will print it for you reversed. And this is, by the way, it's not reversed, this is sort. My mistake, we wrote the packet. So what does sort do? Sort the data, see so two, three, five, sort it for, for you, okay? All right, so if I apply, yes. I think so. I think there's a key you add to a sort because, you know, <coughs> remember any method, any method you type, okay, any method. So, for example, dot whatever method, let's call it method, right? Method, whatever, okay? All right, that is what you have in here, parameters passed to it, all right? Some of them, they have no parameters. Some of them, they have, for example, parameter one, parameter two, parameter three, and if you see the side square like that, that means what? They are optional. All right? So I'm sure in the source, if you go to the manual of the source, okay, you could reverse the source for it. One of the optional parameters there could be, you could pass to it, okay? All right. Did I answer your question? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you for asking. That's a good question. All right. All right, so look in here a problem with the sort. Okay, so when you sort this, how it would be sort? Sorted, so I'm using sort in here, and you see pair came first. Is pair before apple, is P before A? No. Yes and no. Yes, yes, because if you sort the ASCII, what is the top thing, the digits, then? Capital letters, then? Case letters. So P, is before small a, capital P before small a. So what should I do? I use a key, string lower. I lower everything, then I sort. Now what I have? Alphabet. I have is sorted, okay? So always be careful when you work with the strings, okay? Because, you know, you have to compare apples to apples. So to compare apples to apples, what you do? You lower or upper, make them equal in terms of the capital, and then after that you do whatever you have to do. All right, so it's given to you, so in here you could do the, 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 the function. Also, there is another two uh, methods of built-in functions, actually. There are built-in functions, which is minimum in the list and maximum in the list, and there is choice and shuffle. So minimum is easy. What does it do minimum? Calculate the minimum number. The minimum value. Maximum, minimum value. the maximum value. How about choice? 
It chooses one. Uh, from chooses you. one item randomly, all right? But for that, you have to import random module. And then shovel, what does it do? It shovels the list for you, useful for many applications. So this is the num list. If I use minimum, give me two, maximum, give me 84, easy. If I need to use choice, I have to import the random module, okay? Then I have to call it, as you see here, random choice multi uh, num list, it will get a random item. I don't know what's a random item. Every time you run it, it will give you something different. And then shovel, it will return the list, but shoveled. Shoveled. So if you are doing gaming or whatever. All right? This is very important. Something called deep copy and, and what? Important. Shallow copy. All right. Why is it important in list? Okay. Why is it important in list? So for example, let me go in here. You are able to get this in here, right? Okay. So let's say I have a list. If I have a list, for example, one. Okay. One, two, three, four. Let's call it. Okay. My. Oh, oh, oh let me call it uh, list underscore one. So list underscore one is like a, a location in the memory, right? Location and memory, important. Let's say I say L underscore two equals L underscore one. So what I did in here, I created a pointer to the same memory location and what I called it, L underscore two. So I'm not creating two locations. I'm creating the same location, but two pointers. So if I go and change, for example, if I say, for example, list underscore one, index zero, it's, it's in here it's what one, I made it four. So what will happen? This will change to four. Changes for both. Why? Because this is pointed to the same memory, and this pointed to the same memory. So if I say, for example, print, List underscore two, okay, for position zero. What will give me? What will give me? Four. Give me four. All right. So what is this? Shallow copy. I'm copying, but not that I'm copying. When I do this copy, what I'm doing? I'm just creating another pointer. Okay. If I need to have a deep, deep copy, like completely different, that means. I need to create LS2, which has a different location in the memory. One, two, three, four. And this points to this, okay? I have to have a function called deep copy from a module called copy. So I have to import, I have to say import, copy. And then I have, for example, for example, uh, L underscore two equals L underscore one dot deep copy, okay, uh, um, uh, deep copy, deep copy, you know, and we'll copy it there. And that's what we have in here, okay? So this is, so what we did in here, we created the, the list, we copied one to the other one, when I changed it in here for, it was changed in four was a shallow copy. However, when I use, you know, deep copy, copy, uh, deep copy in here, okay, when I change it for the list what two, it did not change for the other list. Changed only for the first list. All right? So you have to be careful what you are doing, all right? Deep copy or shallow copy and all of that. Okay, how to slice a list? Very easy. So you have in here start, end, my list and you could for example in here member in here okay so number zero to two so that was which okay always the index always starts with zero, zero. and we don't go to the end we go to one minus the end so in here for example in this one it will print zero and one in this one four to the end in this one beginning to one Remember, okay, how about this? It's zero to three, 
but it's stepping in two. Stepping on two. So it starts zero, then three, it stops. Okay? All right? So what we're trying to say in here, okay, is at the end, you have to look at the end. So it, when you say zero to two, it does not really go to two, it goes to one. Clear? And here when it says zero to four, it does not go to four, it goes to where? Three. To three. Right? Just be careful of this. All right. In here, how to combine, you know, you could combine two. So you have inventory with your chest. You could use the over, uh, overloading operator plus to add them uh, uh, together. So let's talk about tuples uh, 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 quickly. So tuples, when to create them, we don't use square brackets. We use round parentheses. We use a parentheses. Okay, what's the difference between tuple and, uh, and the list? Basically, list we can change tuple. You cannot change. It's immutable. Okay. It's it's, it's uh, yes exactly. So this is like a tuple with with five floating point. This is a tuple with text. This is a tuple mixed. So you have text. You have numbers. You have float and all of that. Right. And the most important thing is when you need to reference an element in the tuple, always we use what square bracket. Square bracket. So, like we did, for example, when we, when we accessed a list, <coughs> when we accessed a list, for example, I have a list, so it has to be zero, right? If I have a tuple, it has to be a square. So don't say tuple because when you create it, we create it with Francis, we make it with the thought, this is not going to work, okay? This is another code for you. You could try it, the user interface for the num for the number of credential program. Okay? The code is created for you in here. You could download it and you could play with it. This is break for 10 minutes at most. At most. So let's be here by uh, 7.25. Uh, Thank you. So we'll continue now. We'll talk about numbers, right? So as you know, there is an edgers, there is float. All right. So the float point, um, the float point, and this is, by the way, it's a very serious uh, thing when you try to program. So uh, in, the, uh, in the float, as I told you, the float, how they are saved. All right. So for example, when you save a float, I mean, you'll think, for example, like x equals, okay, okay you think x equals 33, 33.33, 33, okay, but y equals, for example, 3.334, all right, and this is 5. So when you're trying to compare x to y and you're thinking they are the same, they are not the same. They don't equal each other because they are saved with, you know, with, with maybe 16 significant digits, all right? So you have to do rounding. Look in here, for example, when you look at 21.5 in here, all right, it's supposed to float, and here is a negative float number, okay? This one is a, a floating point notation, okay, which equals this value. Also, you could have um, like uh, the scientific notation, okay, um, as you see in here, okay. So it's it's um, um, so in here. Look at this example. So the balance in here, how much? Hundred ten. Hundred dollars ten cents, for example. You add to it hundred ten cents. You add again. 110 cents. How much is the total supposed to be? 330 cents, right? Okay. But the actually, if you type it, it's not the 330. It's like much longer digits in here, right? Because that's how it's saved in the memory. So if you build your assumption that they are equal, or it's, uh, it's just it counts to the cents, which is two two positions, you'll end a lot of errors, right? So you have to be careful of that. So maybe the, the way to do it is to have to round it, okay, for two, two locations. Then after that, when you do the balance, we'll give you, for example, three tail. So what you do, balance, okay, balance, round the balance to two, and print balance equals balance, and that will give you 300 tail, all right? So this could give you uh, a bit, uh, huge errors when you do the program. All right, when you deal with numbers, you have to deal with 
math. So there is a math module, okay, and there is C math, by the way, for complex also, okay. So module, and there is a lot of methods that you could, or functions that you could use for math. You have a power, for example, you have the square root, seal, floor, uh, constant like pi, and maybe others, okay. All you have to, to use, you don't have to go and write like a power co code to calculate the power of a number. Or you have to include the, the module and call it, all right? So for example, in here, import math as m, as m. So m power, so you're powering 2 to 3 will give you 8, right? And then in here, square root 16 will give you 4, OK? And then in here, power 1 and 23 to the power 1 third, which is like a cube, calculated in the cube, will give you this result, right? Also, you know, the pi value, which is 22 over 7, right? Okay, or 13.4, okay, is a, a, you could call it and use it, like you see, m pi to calculate the radius, uh, to calculate the, uh, the circumference of a circle or the area of a circle, um, and, and, and you see now, okay? So, always, you know, um, think of a math tool or box as, like, very useful. There's many other functions I don't want to go over. They don't have time. So you have the floor, the seal, the floor, the seal. Okay. So you know what does it do, right? It gives you uh, the floor, the seal of the numbers. All right. One very important um, uh, command or uh, utility that we have or method is the format method. Okay. The format method. Okay. So most of the applications that you use for read times will be GUI. So you might need this format. But however, I mean, Python is used a lot for search to run a lot of things in the background, and then what you need, you need to get the results. So it's good, it's nice to print the results in a nice format, in a good format to print. So, for example, when, when you look at it, for example, let's say, okay, print, so print, let's say print, okay, okay, so you're gonna print something, right? You put dot in here, dot, okay. And format, right? Format. Okay, and there's two parentheses, right? And then there is a text. You are printing a text in here, for example. And depends on how many how many values you can include. So each value will include it in curly braces. Including curly braces. Let's say I have two values. So for example, this is one, this is two, okay, this is second, this is second. Alright? So there is a value, for example, value one and value two. So value one will go to the first one, and value two will go to the first braces. So the format is happening where? Here. The format is happening here. If I need to print three values, so how many curly braces are you gonna see in here? Three, four, four. Okay, okay? So if I have five values, five braces, and each one you could format it the way you want, okay? And side the text. So take a look in here, for example, let's go here. So it could be digit, uh, flow, percentage, uh, scientific notation. Okay, in here. Let's say that the output I'm trying to print is this number, the uh, float point number here. It's a floating point number. I'm trying to output. All right, and you know, I need to be in a nice format. So as I told you, okay, so you'll have the dot format, and then how many, how many value I'm printing in here? One, one value, right? And here I have two, okay, one value. So how many uh, color presses I have inside the string? Only one, you see it in here? One, right? So the, the floating point number is gonna go where? Inside this and I print it. But inside of what I have, I have the format. I have the format. What is the format in here? It tells you, it's a float, if for a float, you're gonna show the dot, and how many digits after the dot? Two, as you see in here, is two. After the dot, is two. Okay, so that's what happened. So it's like two, as you see in here, two after the dot, and um, it will, it's uh, uh, Okay, the next one, how many digits after the dot, as you see it in here? Four. four. And that's why you see in here, four, right? Okay, the next one, what does it say? It says that two digits float, but show the thousands, Separation. So as you see in here, you see the thousand, the comma for the thousand is shown. 
The next one, what shows? It shows 15, it shows the F, and the 2, and the dot, and the comma, but there's a 15. What is a 15 in here? Is the spaces. So you reserve how many spaces? 15. So we reserve 15 spaces, and it was right alignment, right alignment. So the total number of spaces are 15, okay? We fill whatever we can fill, and we keep the, the rest as spaces, all right? You also could left justify, right justify, and center. So for left justify, you have to have this. For right justify, you have this. For center, what you have? This, okay? For this, what we do with this? Anybody knows? Nothing, all right? All right, so nothing we do with it, okay? All right, all right, so and here for example, an integer, right? So we have this number. So now I'm gonna print it as a digit, as a digit, okay? All right, look in here as a percentage, in here as a percentage. In here I print it as scientific notation. So the format is a very nice tool that makes the output looks nice. Maybe uh, you're writing a project, a lot of work, maybe at the end you need to beautify the output, you deal with it, but it's a very important to take care of it. As I told you, look, at, look how nice is this output, okay? So what they did in here, look in here. So first of all, for the first column, they reserved 15 locations. That's why you see it like this. And they made it right justification, right justify. The second one, which is in here, is 10 locations, and you see this, the, the greater than, it will make it left justified. So you see, it's like really left justified. The third one is five locations, and also right justified, I'm sorry, right justified. So this is left justification, right justification, right justification. And you see the output, it really looks, looks like professional, like nice, nice table. Okay, just by adding the format, format elements. All right, so look at the first line in here. How many values we have? How many? Three. So how many curly braces we have? Three. Three. And you have the dot and the format. That's okay. So it's very simple. It might like look like too much information in one line. It's not. If just if you understand, you know how it works, it will be very easy. All right. So for each value you try to print. You have one curly, and, and inside the curly braces uh, pair, you try to put the format. And the format, you know, is uh, very simple, okay? Also, you could use the, the locale, uh, a locale, so for example, you, you know, how the currency, uh, you know, when you talk, type the currency, the locale, the format of the grouping, the, you know, can also take example. So for example, and here English, for example, United States, it will, currency format will be like that. In Germany, it will be something different. So you have to select the um, the locale for your for your. So in here, how to set the locale to English United States? So LC dot you know uh, set locale LC dot LC all US, and it will give you certain format. So you know again, okay, this is part of the formatting. That's when you have a code, it has to have a nice uh, format. All right. Also, you could have the format function to set the currency and all of that. So for example, print, okay, LC format, LC the format, and it has to be a digit, you know, uh, you know how um, this is the digit and this is the grouping, you do grouping without grouping elements. All right, so this is a program here, the user interface for the invoice program. There is an invoice program Okay, and this is by the program, by the way, it's given to you, so you could run it and go through it, see how it's written, okay? So enter, for example, that's how it runs. Enter the order total, whatever, 105. Then order, um, uh, order total in here, the discount amount is like 10%, and the subtotal, after taking the discount, and the sales tax, and that's the total in here. It's a program written, so it deals with what? with digits and numbers, okay? So if you take a look at the code, okay, um, you know, it's, it's a very important that you deal with round, for example, to round the values, okay? Because, like, if you try to calculate the tax, or, okay, I mean, if so, if you tell you that the, that the tax is, for example, $10, 
0.3333 doesn't make any sense for money. It does not. So you have to round it, for example, to be dot point three three whatever, right? So um, uh, also when, when you when, when you add the numbers, if there is a comparison, you have to be uh, careful. The nice thing also there is a module called decimal decimal, okay, that you could include and will help you to do different uh, applications of the numbers, okay. So for example, in here, decimal input, enter order total, okay. So whatever input you enter, it, you converting it into decimal, into decimal, all right. Order total, order total, it quantize, it quantize, okay, decimal, whatever the value, and round half up, and this is, it's very important this when you do statistics and when you deal with the banks, because in the banks, you know, when you do round, I mean, you take dealing with the millions and billions of dollars. Even a fraction of a number could accumulate to millions of dollars. So there is a standard, take a look at it, how the accountants or how the accounting systems or how they deal with these numbers, okay? There is round half up, round whatever half down, and there's, there's laws for it and all of that. So take a look at that, right? So this is the same program we defined with the decimal. Take a look at it, run it, play with it, see what the results that you can get out of it, okay? All right, so that's about numbers, okay? And, and again, in here, what we said in here, we, we, so far we covered the less, less two tuples and the numbers, and I told you, what you are trying to do in here, okay? Open the door, step two steps inside, okay? And then you have to walk until you hit the wall. You need five years to hit the wall, to know all the information. The more steps you go inside the Python, the more you learn more things, okay? So there's, it's much, much, much complex than this. If I need to cover everything related to this, I might need three lectures, okay? Mostly you will not use it all or need it all, okay? But this is all the most important things that you need, okay? You come across a need in your project that you need to use less in a certain way, okay? Again, you are at step two, you could go step three, four, until you hit the wall. And for me, the wall is five years experience. Okay, five years experience. So you can go, keep going five years while re learning and doing um, Python and any other programming language. So let's talk about strings. Okay, strings. Okay, so we spoke about less. We spoke about, so how we create, how we create a list. Let's refresh, refresh our memory. How we create a list. Right? Right? How we create a tuple? How we create a string? Right? How we create a dictionary? As we'll see later, right? All right? But all of them, when we need to index what we use, square bracket, square bracket. So we have to use square bracket, right? Square bracket to index them. Right? Don't forget that. Don't mix them together. Okay? All right. So, talking about or. What does or do? Convert, convert a character to ASCII. And what does len do? Calculate the length. Gives you the length of the string. string. I told you, I mean, there's a lot of functions or methods are given to you that are very useful. Some of them, you're surprised, very complex. We're using the simple format of them, okay? Remember, remember when I told you, when you look at any function, when you look at the manual, the documentation for the function, okay? When you look at the documentation of the function, okay? So for example, you have a function or method or whatever, okay? So you have like, you know, parameters, parameter one, parameter two, parameter three. Some of them all are optional, you are not using them. Or some of them are optional, some are mandatory and all have a meaning and could be useful. Check it out. Sometimes you need to do a simple thing and you're using a function or a method, but you don't know that it provides you the surface for that need that you need to do. So it's good to have, always it's good to glance through the manual, okay? If you see one of the parameters, one of the options, makes sense to you that you could use it. And instead of writing like 20 lines of code, to do one thing, which is just by enabling this parameter. Clear? 
right. So you have. All right. So. Um, Okay, so look at the syntax of print. Can it be any simpler than a print? There is not. So look what you can do, for example. Okay, you could have a separator. Usually the separator for the print by default is what? Uh, is? Space, right? Space. You could change it. Okay, you think that's the only thing you said at the end. What is the end? It's the new line. So usually at the end of the printer, it puts a new line. You can change it to something else. No, no <coughs> new line. Or you make it a star, or you make it a slash, or you make it backslash, or you make it something according to your need. Okay, file. Okay, what's uh, the file and the flush? I don't know myself, for example, what flush does. Maybe I have to check it out. So you see the separator in here, sip. Okay, you could write sip. Okay, the separator, optional. Remember when I tell you it's optional, there's optional parameters? It's an optional. That's why we do enter it. So if, if it's optional, usually it defaults to a value. So optional, specify how to separate the objects. If there, um, if there is more than one, default is what? Space, maybe, I, I, I'm not sure. Okay. okay. And optional, specify what? Print at the end. Usually it's a new line feed, line feed, right? Okay, file option, an object with a write method. Okay, defaults to where? Where it writes print. To set that uh, standard output. What's the standard output? The screen. That's why you see it in the screen. But if you need it to print to a file, all right, or a printer, all right? So all you have to change the file to what? Sys, printer, or such something, right? Options, flush, optional, a boolean, a boolean, specifying if the output is a flushed, true, okay, or buffered, false, okay, default is false, okay, so it's buffered, it will be buffered, not flushed, okay, but right. so just as a simple, it cannot be any simple, right, function we deal with print, we use it every other second, and there are so many options. Can you imagine many other methods that you could have? Okay, a lot of options you could have. So this comes over time, just to glance you through them, okay? And by the way, for the exams, for the exam, I'll tell you exactly what methods you have to, to study. Okay, I'll give you what, you know, for the exam. So, I mean, I understand that, you know, we cannot know all the methods, okay? But in the exam, for example, if I give you 50 methods that they need you to work, uh, to know how they work upside down, you come to the exam and you know how they work upside down. You know what are the options, how they work, you exercise them, and all that. Okay? All right? So, before the exam, I'll give you guidelines for the exam that you practice with that. All right? So, how many methods I covered in here? Not a lot. But in the exam, I might give you like 50, much more than I covered in here. I don't care. Because all you have in here, I'm giving you examples of the methods. Your job is to go and discover them and do them. All right? And if you try them and you come to the exam, you score 100 out of 100, and you go after that, you forget them, that's fine with me. Fine with you too, right? Okay, so only, you know, preparing for an exam is different. So I need to know who's trying things and doing things. Okay, fair? So just remind, remind me to give you the guide, the guides uh, for the exam. All right, so that's the art. So what is uh, the print? Five. 
the order of 5 is 53, so the ASCII is 53, 65, and 97 for that thing, right? All right, so the message. This is a message which is hello out there, okay? So how we index it, I already explained it in the board. All of the square brackets. So message index of zero will give you H, because the first zero is H. And always, always, always remember, the indexes all start from zero, all from zero. Major, major, major problem. Who says major, major, major problem? Somebody, right? Okay, so J, and here is, is a problem. Why is it? Because this gives you type error. String is immutable. We're trying to assign. List is immutable, but strings are immutable. You cannot change them. So make sure that you don't do this mistake in your code. In, in, your, in your code. Yes. So you have the message. The same thing we index it. Remember, when you say six to nine, that goes from where? Six. Six, six to, to eight. To eight. 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 The rest of the story you have it, right? Because the same thing as the list. All right. Remember the power of the asterisk. What does it do? Multiply. Multiply. So when I say equal, multiply 20. How many asterisks do I have in here? 20. 20. Do I have to count? No. No. Okay. So a horse multiplied by two. A horse multiplied by two. How many I have a sense in here? Two. 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 Why I have a space in here? Because there is space in here. Remember, a space is a character. Tab is character. So we have to be careful. So usually how to create a string? With a single code, or a double. with a double code, or with triple, triple code. code. Single and double the same thing. Triple will maintain the multiple lines, lines, multiple lines. So in here, for example, query. Why I need to use a query? Have anybody done database before? Database goes in multiple lines, right? So if you need to write a database a query in your Python code, where do you have to put it? If it's multiple lines, with a triple code, with a triple code. So select category ID, name as category name from category where category ID equals whatever, right? This is like a database, okay, sentence, a SQL sentence, right? Or a statement, I'm sorry. It's a SQL statement. All right, remember the magic of N? If n for n, we use in less and double. The same thing with a string. If I'm looking for a term in a string, I'm gonna use the the n the n string, right? So example, for example, I have a spam. Okay, congratulations, you've won a million dollars. All right. So if I need to see if million is a part of a spam, okay. So all I have to say million in a spam gives you true. Million with capital in this bank gives you false. Why? Because it's a case sensitive. Strings are always case sensitive, and so on and so forth. So remember the power of N. Okay, so in here, uh, in here what we're trying to do is to check the input. It's a code that uses the if statement to check search. So, so input, you ask somebody to, in, to, uh, to input. So input, enter, enter, what? Search term, enter, search term. So it will give a prompt to the user what he has to enter, something, right? This will be saved where? In a variable called search term. If search term in spam, print term found, okay? So again, the power, the power of n. For looping over each character in the string, okay? So for character in a string, you're looping over the character. So for example, you have a message i. How many characters are there? Three. Three. The H cap is uppercase H, small case I, and Next. the special character. Okay. So for character in the message, as you see in here, print character. Print it for you in here. What does it print? Okay. H, I, and the special character exclamation. All right. Look in here, for example, this one. Message equals zero, one, two, three, space, A, B, C, D, all capitals, space, A, B, C, D, all small. Okay. That's the message. So four character in a message, and what I'm trying to do in here, try to print the order of character, not the character. What is the order? Is the ASCII code. So what is the ASCII code for zero? 48, for one, 49, and so on and so forth, and print it until the end, okay? Aha, the basic string methods. 
Do you think it's the only method you have in the strings? No. What does it say in here? Is okay. So there are many others, all right, and they are very useful. Any of these are very, very, very common to you? Like what? Which one is that common? I mean, you have used before. Lower, lower, lower and upper, lower. right? Okay, lower. What does lower do? Lower. Convert everything into lower. Into lower case. Upper, convert upper case. How about title? How title is written? Capitalized word. The first letter of each word is upper case. So it will capital, uh, make the first letter of each word capital letters. All right? All right? So what else? I mean, like, you know, the, the, you know, is digit is, okay, there is many, right? Okay? Center with, anyways. So there is many of these and will become very useful when you deal with strings. Let's take few only here. So you have entry. So entry equals one, two, three, four, five. Entry is what? String. string. Is it is it a digit or a string? Is it an integer or a string? String. string. It's a string. Where, why? Because double O. We have that code. Thank you for being wake up. Okay, until now. Okay, thank you. That's nice of you, Sumail. All right. I'm not sure what, what you are eating today, but you are really focused today, right? I'm very happy, proud. Okay, and everybody seems like, okay. So, is integer, so if I need to check if it is integer, is integer entry, is integer, can be true? Why? Huh? Because, I mean, the, the is digit works with what? With the strings. And definitely, the input is a string. But what's saying is what is inside the string digits or letters? Okay, letters or digits, okay? So how to check the, the if, if the string starts with a substring? Okay, so what is the string in here? The meaning of life. What's the meaning of life? It's a movie. Title. It's a movie. Title. Title. It's a string. 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 Huh? String. String. One, one, one. String. Dream. String. 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 I'm asking a really question now, not quite a question. <laughs> <laughs> the meaning of life, what's the meaning of life for you? Let's, let's, let's take three people, give a single word or si single st sentence for the meaning of life for a break. What's the meaning of life for you? Any volunteer? No money though, don't, <laughs> okay. don't get used to it. Any volunteer? Yes, Sumia. Yeah. To make my mom and dad proud. You, to make your mom and dad proud, excellent. Any other thoughts? You have an opinion? What is life? Huh? Happiness. Happiness. Wow, nice. Third? Success. Third volunteer? Success. Huh? Success. I can't hear from you. Success. 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 The meaning of life is success. Wow, you guys confuse me. <laughs> Seriously, now I'm, I'm really success, really. So, if you are successful, you are happy. Success makes you happy. Okay, makes your dad and mom happy and proud, right? All right. Yes, sir. If you make your mom and dad happy, then this is ultimate success, and that's what makes you happy the most, supposedly, right? Makes you happy. I don't put it. Any of you told me that I want to make my wife happier than my dad and mom. Dad, mom first, okay? All right. I'm I'm here, not home now, so I can say whatever I want. All right. All right. All right. So so success, happiness, and making parents proud, okay? And there is a lot coming in life. You're very young people. You have a long, 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 long life to live. All right. You always can make your life brighter. It's already bright. It's already bright. It's already nice. You have if you have little responsibilities now. You have only one responsibility, which is to score 
A in my class. All right? <laughs> That's the only responsibility you have, right? Okay? And, but you know, after that, you know, people think, I mean, when I was in the, in the, in the high school, I could not wait until I finish high school, go out of the house, go to the college. I said the life would be nicer, will be easier. Okay, high school, the stress, you know, exams, getting to the college, the stress of the parents, you studying, you're not doing well, you joke, you leave, you go to the college. Now, if you think it's easier, it's not easier. You want to go back home, <laughs> all right? Because now you clean your clothes by yourself. You wash your clothes by yourself. You, 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 you fix your bed by yourself. You do everything by yourself, right? Sometimes you cook by yourself. You want to go back home. But you know, when you're in college, oh, I want to just finish four years, get the degree. Um, you know, if I need to go like a trip or watch a movie, I need to watch how much money I have. You know, when I go get work, you know, I'm getting, you know, making like 60, 100, 200,000 dollars, don't have to worry about it. You go, and the stress of the work starts coming. You'll miss a lot the college days. I miss them a lot. The best, best days in my life when I was in college, seriously. I mean, you think, you know, you get, this is a tough life for you, you don't know anything, all right? And then it, it, comes, it comes the disaster. You get married and children and the responsibilities, all right? So in the way out, in the way in, where are you going, where are you coming? And pay, and you know, bills, and all of them. Never, okay? Then you have the children, okay? When you have the first children, you enjoy, you play with it, and all of that. Crying all night. I mean, cannot sleep, and you go to work like that, right? <laughs> so you can't wait until they grow a little bit, right? They grow, they grow, now they grow, right? Grow, they sleep at night, and all of that. Then you can't wait until they go to school. The first moment when they carry the bag for three, four years is so fun. Before that, when you start talking, you play with the baby. You want to wait until you hear them talk, right? Talk. Then they talk. Then after they don't stop talking, right? Okay, and then you need you need to play sports with them, go on all the. You need to, then they cannot, you know, a new Nike coming, two hundred dollars. I need the Nike boots. I need an all it Cannot end. Then we go to school, right? Okay, school. We cannot wait until they go to college, right? Oops. They go to college, and and you know you have to pay like forty, fifty thousand dollars a year for them. That's like that, okay? Uh, and you know life continues. So. The life is to enjoy the moment. You must enjoy the moment. You must take the best, make the best of the moment, and don't think about too much in the future. Forget about the past. You can enjoy the memories, but you cannot go there. That is life. Life, you have to enjoy whatever you have. You have to appreciate what you already have. Okay? As long as you can walk, as long as you can sleep at night, you don't have pain. Okay? As long as you have half working brain, you don't have to be smart, okay? All right? And as long as long you're not in debt, big debt, you know, people after you give me my two dollars, give me all of that, okay? As long when you eat, you enjoy your food, all right? You are happier than Bill Gates himself, believe me. You're happier than many people in the whole world. So keep the hard work. Go back now to Python. All right, so the truth, the truth is, the truth of life is here, the title, you have the title, the meaning of life. So what we did in here, we used, start with, we need to know, start with, title start with, the that. So the question is, true. Okay, this is one of the methods, simple methods. Maybe that's the least method you're going to need, but it's a very useful, give you a sample in here. Movie, the meaning of life, the meaning of life, okay, in here. Title. So I need to convert it to title. How 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 title looks like? The first letter. The third. The, the word is capital. All right. In here, how to strip white spaces? You have a white space in here. I need to strip the white space. Strip. It takes the white spaces and give you the uh, result. Try it out. All right. In here, how to align strings. You could align strings. Okay, you could use format to align strings, but also you could use in here, for example, this print. In here it says print, hammer, left justification, 14. So you reserve 14 locations, but with left justification. And here, right justification with, with 10. 
So you see how the how is the output is nice, left justified, right justified, spaces in between. Very nice. Okay. Only with two methods that you could do, you could do that. All right. Find and replace. The string is not as short as you have in this example. The string could be as a, as a, as long as a page, right? As long as a page, or you know, or or, or a book, right? So you need to look for, for, for find. You need to find the string. You could start at a certain position and at the end position. You need it could it could be from the whole string or from the middle or from the middle to the end or from somewhere to the end or from somewhere to the beginning or from somewhere to somewhere, right? That's why you have the start and the end and the string you're looking for. And you could do replace. Maybe there's an example in here. So what examples these are useful? Like when you have a forum where people have to enter their first name, last name, age, email, phone numbers. So if somebody enters the email without the add sign and the dot, is it any use for you? That's not an email, right? So usually that does a check that you have to have in your forum when you create your work, the, the, the forum you're going to create, and this is a class to check, for example, the add and for the dot and do, and do these checks and the and, uh, the, and there's, there's a, there's these methods that you could use nicely to do all of that, right? Replace, so you could, if you need to replace, for, okay, like in the form that you enter, ask them to enter a phone number, how people write the phone number in many ways, but in your database or in your file, you have to save it in one way. So some people enter it like this, like many hyphens, for example. Or some people enter it, for example, like that. Or some people, you know, enter it like, like, like this, right? So you could, for example, do replacement. Replace the hyphen with a space or with parentheses. Look in here, for example, maybe in here. So what you did in here, the phone number, what you did, okay, the, when some people entered the phone number. So <coughs> you start with a parentheses, then the phone number, okay, phone number from the beginning to three. That means location zero, location zero, one, two, all right? Then you put the plus, closing the parentheses. Then you put space, space, and then you put you know the, the the the. Okay. Anyways, you are trying to deal with, you're trying to deal with, replacement, replacing some text in your text, right? It will be very useful in many of the applications that you're gonna have, right? And for checks and all of that. All right. This is a code. It's for you. It's uh, 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 create. Um, Account, so you know you have a we have a surface web surface. You need people to create an account. So what they have to enter, they have to enter first. And so for example, this person entered Eric. Eric, okay. You must enter full name. So okay, Eric Idol. So you have to ask him to enter full name. Okay, then enter password. Maybe you need to check the password. The password has to be minimum sixteen characters and has to have, for example, two special characters, uppercase, lowercase, whatever condition. Maybe that's a good assignment, Shashank, that you could give them to write, you know, to the, okay, with all the junk. You're not listening to me, right? Okay. All right. So uh, enter the password to check the password, right? And so on and so forth. So this is one of the examples. All we do here dealing with, with, with what? Strings. We're dealing with strengths all right this is a code for you again the code is given to you you could take a look one more thing is split okay how to split the thing so for example i have quotation these are the time that try men's souls so word and then the words now you need to separate or divide this sentence or this string into words so what you do quotation split it's going to split it for you in how many words, okay? It splits you in words, okay? How to split um, a date, in the same thing. You have the date in here, and you could split it, and you could have, like, the separator in here, and it split it for you. How to split row of data on the delimiter, okay? So you have this one is, for example, okay, an address, and again, you could split to split to, to do the split and you tell the delimiter for my split is what the vertical line so you teach it right it's not normal here it's not a space it's not a white space it's written with a vertical space right in here so you tell it your delimiter to separate it is this vertical 
and surely it will give you the, the results in here. Join. Whenever you have set, when you have a split, always you have join. So for example, you could join with the plus sign. And then on also you could join, join with the join, okay, join method. You could use the join method. So for example, you have a string the address in here, and you have, okay, and you have, and you need to join to the address is this, the, the vertical bar. So the vertical bar to join the addresses is give you this. So you join all the parts of that string with, you see the vertical bar in here? Okay, vertical bar, it's in here. All right. Anyways, this is another exercise for you, uh, movies. Take a look at it again. It's downloaded for you, and you could play with it. Another exercise for you given to here is the word list. So, so the way it runs, the word counter program, number of the words 260, number of the unique words. So you have a, a, sent, a, a file or a long string, okay? So you need to know how many unique words are there Okay, and how many are repeated? So, you know, you have to run it for a code. Anyways, you could play with the program. I don't have time, you have to go to day and time. So now, oh, dictionary. So we have to work with dictionaries, all right? So what is a dictionary? Dictionary has two values. It has a key and it has the value. So, so let's take example here. Okay, this is a dictionary. So straight, uh, the dictionaries of countries. So usually it has a key, column, see this is the key, followed by a column and a value. Key and a column and a value. Key and a column and a value. That is the dictionary. So in the list, how we do the indexing? Zero, one, two, three. The string, how we do the indexing? Zero, one, two, three. In the dictionary, how we do the indexing? By key. By the key. By the key. By the key. By the key. We do by the key, right? So look at the second one in here, if you can see it. Okay, numbers as keys. So in here I use keys. One, one, two, two, right? A three, three. In here, for example, in the, th in the third example in here is starting as keys, values of mixed types. You could have mixed types. So the first key is name, the holy whatever. The year is 197 and the price is 1999. All right? 19.99. That's a movie, that's a dictionary. Also, that's the way to create an empty dictionary. I mean, dictionaries are very, very <coughs> useful. All right, so how you print, if you print a dictionary, it will be printed as a keys for you, as you see in here, as keys, as keys. All right, so this, this is, is a dictionary. <coughs> All right, how we access the, the dictionary again? By index, and the index again has to be inside. Square brackets always. But this time what we use? The key. We use the key, code that gets a value from a dictionary. Code that gets a value from the dictionary. So country, for example, country, that's a variable I have created. So a dictionary is the, so, what is the value of, from the dictionary countries, where the key is MX? It will give you Mexico. How about IE? It will give you key error, because there is no such key. Again, you have to be careful when you deal with the keys, when you deal with the uh, keys. All right? So you could add a value. So for example, if you have a value, you could add it, so call that sets a value if the key is in the dictionary. So I have a, if, I have a, if I have a key GB for Great Britain or United Kingdom, I always could set the value, all right? And in here, for example, I could add, so countries of R, I made it France. So code that adds a key value pair. So you could add a key value pair. <coughs> so, in working with dictionaries, what something that you always have to do? You have to check if the key exists, right? So for that, it's a very simple. What you have to do is, you know, use fn again. F, 
code n counters a value and do whatever you want. If n, if n again. How can you loop through? Okay, so for example, in here also, get the key and the default value. So country countries get the value of mx. So there is there is a, a method given to you called get. Get. All right, it's a method given to you as a get. So if I say countries dot get mx will give you Mexico. Okay, Mexico. As long as it's in there in the dictionary. If it's not, okay, that's a problem. If it's not, it is a problem. It will give you a syntax error. All right, can you can I delete an item from a dictionary? Yes. Of course. We, again, we have the del. So if I need to delete a key, so, you know, I just provide the key. As an example, if I need to delete mx from the dictionary, okay? So when I delete that, the key, it deletes with it what? The value, right? So to remove both, right? So delete met mx. It will remove the mx and will remove what? Mexico from the dictionary. It's gone. Code that checks a key before deleting the item. So before you delete the item, what do you have to check? If it's there. You don't want to delete something that's not there. It'll give you an error. So you check this code. It will check it for you and delete it. OK. Two dictionary methods for deleting items. Take a look at it. OK. There are three dictionary methods for getting all keys and values. Keys, items, and values. Let's take a look. So for code, remember we said fn for n. What for n gives you? Iteration. So we iterate through the string, we iterate through list, tuple, and also we iterate with for n with dictionary. So for code in the countries.keys. Remember that we said it's it's like in here it's what? <coughs> it's an a method. You could iterate uh, uh, through it, all right? Uh, there is also list and, okay. So now, how we create, for example, a list? How we create a list? So L equals one, two, three, four. You agree? You agree? And also, there is a method or function called list. So you could say L equals list. One, two, three, four, right? But usually we don't put this, right? Yeah. All right. So now we could use list and dictionary to convert. We could convert a dictionary to list and list to dictionary. All right. Nice, right? We we'll convert list to dictionary and dictionary to list. That's so. These are the two methods. So let's take a quick example. Countries, what is countries in here? Dictionary. Huh? Dictionary. It's a dictionary, so it has a key and value. a value. So how can we, co and when you convert it to a list, how to look? List of lists, right? List of lists, right? So in here, so CA for Canada, US for the United States, MX for Mexico. So codes, list, so now I'm converting list, and the input is what? is the dictionary, all right? All right, so it will be converted to. <coughs> so in here, what we, we, we're converting two dimensional list to a dictionary. Why it has to be dimensional list? Because the first dimension will be the key. The second dimension will be the value. The values. All right, so this is, this is what? A list. It has GB, United Kingdom, and all list of lists. So when you convert it with, how you convert it with the dict function, it will convert it to a dictionary. So it's given to you. You could convert to a list, you could list to dictionary, or dictionary to list. It's just a method. You have to use it with limitations, with limitation, right? This is a program given to you. Okay, country co codes, play with it, and it's again, the code is given for you. Okay, play with it as much as you can, all right? Another one, word counter, counter. okay, the word counter, A, okay, play with it, also given to you, okay? Or, and there is another program given to you, which is book uh, catalog, okay, book catalog to add, remove to the book catalog. The code, all the code are given to you, play with it, all right? 
Now we'll come to dates and times, and they have 10 minutes. Okay? 10 minutes. All right. So I'm not, I will not go, I mean, it's in the PowerPoint, you could go over it, but you know, we have to work with dates and time. You agree? So if you have an application that, for example, entering invoice, what you have to do? It has to get the date of the invoice. Okay? All right? If you try, if you have many invoices, you would like to know which ones are overdue. So you have to do the delta of, delta of dates. What's delta? Addition, subtraction of dates. Exactly. Addition and subtraction of dates. So for that, for that, there are three modules for you. Okay? Three modules for you. So, for example, if I need to know the date today, very simple, date today, a function. The only thing I have to import the module. If I need to know the date and the time now, okay, very simple, I could include that. Just remember for date and time, you have to include how many modules? Depends on what your methods you want to use. The module called date, there is a module called time, and there is a module called date time. Okay, the three of them, you could include them in the three lines, or you could include them in one line like that. From day time, import date, time, and date time. All right, so, so for example, take a look at this. So for example, invoice date. If you, if you need to create, if you are creating right now, you have application, you're creating an invoice. What do you have to call to know the date? Date today. It will check the system for the date today, right? Okay, date, time now. So we could include, if you need, if you need a voice, you'd like to include the time, or let's say surface ticket, right? You're creating a self, so surface. Somebody gonna go out to help, so you need to know the date and the time. And when he finishes, he punch it, you know, he plugs it in, then you know the date and time when he finished. So then you could bill the customer for four hours, six hours of work. So the day and time is very important to be included. Code that uses constructors, okay, and here different times and all that. So anyways, so you could format the day and time in different formats, like the day, the month, the year, uh, the four digit year, the hours, the month, the, the minutes, and the, the second. A few examples in here. Halloween, day and time, okay, strip time. You're gonna, so this is the input, you're gonna strip the time, and you're gonna format it in this way. So you could have different, formats that you could format the output of your day, right? Um, code that uh, that gets a date from the user and brings it to the console. So for example, input. You're asking the user to enter the date. The person, for example, birth date, will enter it this format, right? So birth date, date time, then you strip time. You need to strip the time from it, okay? or the birth date. Okay, so for example in here, the person entered the date, and you need to, the date of birth, you strip the date of birth. Of course, there's no time because the user did not enter the time, only enter the date. All right, uh, okay, so, you know, also the way you display it, you could display it, you know, so for example, percentage A, it, the day will be like that, capital A, Saturday. So there is different formats for, the display could take a look at. Anyways, um, okay, there's many functions, it's listed for you, you have to take all over it. I created some, or there's a few applications for you, like the invoice. Of course, when you're creating the invoice, what do you have to use? A lot, date and time, right? All right, so for example, okay, the invoice due date, okay? Enter the invoice date, this is the invoice date. Invoice date was entered, due date was entered, current date is a current date. So what you have to do now? The delta. So we, then you know which invoices has over 30 days. The code is available for you, you could play with it. Also there's an application provided in here, the user interface for the timer program. All right, it's again, we should have a play that, but I don't have money today. So the timer program, press enter to start, and it will record the time. And then press enter to stop, okay? and then a lap time, and then calculate how much seconds between the two start and end, right? Right. So let's say that we are gaining, for example, we have a counter, a game, like we have a counter, okay? And we need the, 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 to stop, uh, to stop, you know, you start, you know, you know, you look, and you have to be very fast in calculation, you know when you started and how many seconds you need, and you need to stop, for example, the goal is after 59 seconds. 
So you stop, okay, you were minus 3 to the 59. And the other person is plus 4. So it's a game. You could, could you play this game next time, you know, see how accurate you and all of that. Anyways, so again, this is, this is used for game. Yeah. There is a lot of attributes that return the parts of the year, month, day, and all that. Anyways, it's all about date. You could do different things with day, the delta, uh, the difference, uh, all that. So I leave it for you. This is reservation, okay? Again, when you do hotel reservation, what is the most important thing for you? Yeah? When you are check in, check out, reservations, you know, all of these also few applications. I mean, they are not very long applications. Take a look at them and uh, play with it. Anyways, for today, uh, for the day, it was a long lecture, but it's a very important lecture. It gives you the foundation. We have covered the list. Okay, count with me. The list, tuples, strings, strings dictionary, date, date, time. date and time. Five things and the numbers. Six things and the numbers, right? Six things we covered, right? In the previous lecture, we uh, covered the controls. F, Y, 4, and the functions, right? So now you are ready to write very, you know, good applications, applications. So next time, next class, we'll talk about exceptions. And we'll talk about, I forgot next time, exceptions, one thing. And, huh? Right? Try, try with these exceptions. Try and uh, exceptions. And we're going to talk about a few things. And then the following class, the following class, we're going to talk about OOP. OOP. O O P, which is object oriented programming. Object oriented programming. Okay? So we'll know inheritance, we'll know, you know, we took that, right? You guys, did you do object oriented programming? Yes. No? Yes. No? Yes. Yes? Yes. yes or no? Yes. Okay, or oh, you don't know? Okay, object oriented programming. And object oriented programming, do you take object oriented programming? I'm sure you did. How about you? Which courses you took in programming? Yes, we did. You did, right? Java? So, yeah. If you don't, don't worry. We'll go through it, okay? Maybe one or two lectures. Then after that, we'll go to GUI. All right? All right? And I think by then we covered all the basics of Python. All right? And then after that, we start to see what we're going to do. You know, what pandas, uh, um, you know, uh, web development, networking, uh, machine learning, deep learning. All right? Don't worry. You're going to learn a lot during this class. You're going to learn a lot. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you.